What's up? What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Cora B. I am back with another exclusive. I first want to let you guys know that... Let me turn this up for a second so y'all can hear it. So, y'all know I get goofy on my page. My channel, we have a good time. Y'all wanna know I be having a good time? Cause I've reached 108 subscribers. I've reached the 100 mark on YouTube. Isn't that so amazing? Like, I am so honored and grateful for that. Like, you guys just do not know. But I'm gonna tell you how much honor and gratitude that I have for reaching the 100 mark. Do you, are y'all ready for this? Are you really ready for this? Like, if you're not ready, like, just get ready, okay? I'm giving away, I'm giving away, I'm giving away a free pair of shoes. Yes, a free pair of shoes. Now, no, it is not coming from Kmart. It's not going to come from Walmart. Even though y'all know Shaq makes shoes, you know what I'm saying? And, I mean, you know, he famous. I mean, y'all do, like, you know, famous people's shoes, you know what I'm saying? And I don't think there's nothing wrong with Shaq's. I had my son wear shacks before. Them mugs was cheap, and they didn't mess up. But I brought him a pair of Air Force Ones, and guess what? They messed up worse than the shacks did. But anyway, no, they're not shacks. Shout out to Shaq, though. Ain't nothing wrong with your shoes, boo. They affordable. Very affordable. Anyway, um, but I am giving away a brand new pair of shoes. So I don't know if you need a pair of shoes. If your mama need a pair of shoes, if your sister need a pair of shoes, if your granny need a pair of shoes, if your grandpa need a pair of shoes, I'm giving away a free pair of shoes. They're going to come brand new in the box. Yes, brand new in the box. But there is a twist to this. I am also trying to reach the thousand, thou, the thousand mark of subscribers on YouTube. So what you have to do to get this pair of shoes, because I know it's somebody out there that need a pair of shoes, okay? And my taste is quite, quite beautiful. You have to share this video. That's one. Share it, okay? You have to watch it all the way through. I know if you're watching my videos all the way through or not because my people lets me know. So you have to share this video, comment below, give me thumbs up, and if I know you really, really, really into my channel, if you really, 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 truly, truly like my channel, you have to email me saying number one. And I will get back to the winner tomorrow. Today is January the 21st. Shout out to my baby daddy. Today is his birthday. Um, today is January 21st and, um, did I say shout out to my baby daddy? That is so hood radish, isn't it? You guys shout out to the father of my child. Today's his birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Adams. Um, but anyway, anyway, I'm giving away a brand new pair of shoes so you have to share this first you have to watch the video all the way through share this video comment on this video like this video and then i'll know if you're reading my description box because i have an email address down there and i also have my instagram page down there and i also have my um beautiful sharif facebook page down there also whoever sends me an email first whether it be it has to be through you have to send me an email through my Gmail account. Then you have to follow me on Instagram. And then you also have to follow me on Facebook. I'm not going to put the Twitter down there. That's a little bit too much. Again, share this video. Comment on this video. Give me thumbs up. And then send me an email on my Gmail account. And say it has to say number one for the brand new pair of shoes. And I'm giving this away to you for being loyal to me because I'm showing my gratitude towards you. And that's what I want to say. 
thank you. I thank you to my subscribers. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. You guys are watching me. And I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate it. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, so, again, like, comment, subscribe below. And you have to send me an email in my inbox. I have to wake up in the morning and look at the inbox. And it has to say number one. Number one. Period. But you gotta, you gotta, literally, you have to watch the whole video. The whole video. I'm trying to get to a hundred, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers right now. I want to go from a hundred and add a couple zeros on there. You feel what I'm saying? So, you guys could do that for me. I'm gonna show my gratitude by giving away a brand new pair of shoes. And I think that's, I think that'd be awesome. Do you guys think it's awesome? I think it's very awesome. So today we're going to get into the video because I'm like five minutes, like five minutes um, behind now. But it doesn't matter. Who cares? You know what? Time doesn't even exist. Didn't I, did I ever say that on my videos? I don't know if you guys know. I always say time doesn't exist because it really doesn't. Someone um, asked me a question and they sent me a question through text message today. And they wanted me to speak on this. And they want my opinion, I, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Um, so I'm going to read it. It says, cheating and forgiveness. That's what this video is going to be about today. I don't know why my camera seems so out of pocket or something. Is it the light? It's the light. Y'all can see me better now? Hold on. Oh, yeah, y'all can see me way better now, can't y'all? Okay, so um, they sent me a, a, um, a message and they said, um, why men cheat and women stay? But when women do it, the man, he wants to leave or, you know, backlash, fight or something like that, right? So today at the name of this video, the name of this video is going to be called cheating and forgiveness. From experience, I stayed while cheating was going on because I forgave. My love is unconditional love. I know a lot of people Oh, if a man do this, they're going to they're going to leave or if he hit me, I'm out of here. If he um cheat on me, I'm leaving. I was one of those people that literally used to say that stuff. I used to literally say that like I have a person that I know they used to get beat on, right? And basically, you know, I used to be like, "Why you just want to call the police? Why you just, you know, why? You know, that will never happen to me. Never say never." Because what happens when you say never, the universe tempts you. I learned that from my bro. The universe does test you. They want to see if you ever, 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 never, never, never. And that is so true. So, so true. So I found myself in an abusive relationship. I found myself being cheated on. And I've also been the cheater. I have no shame in my game. One thing I'm going to tell y'all, and I'm going to repeat it. Re always repeat this. I have no shame in my game on my channel. So I've been the cheater. And I've been the mistress. So I've had, I've had um, mistresses. And I've been the mistress. Been there, done it. Will I do it now? No. I've grown, I'm older, I don't care about that type of stuff. I, I don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? That's just what I wouldn't do. Um, but have I done it? Yes. How many people will tell you that they did something like that? You know, because people people not real in the world nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Like, not saying that everybody has to tell their business, but me, it's just, I'm an open book. You know, I don't hide anything, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that doesn't mean anything to me. Like, I don't care about... Nobody trying to take away my character or any of those things because I know who I am as an individual. I don't have to lie to you or anyone else. You see what I'm saying? So, 
cheating and forgiveness. I forgave because I've been that person that has been cheated on. Did that sound right? I forgave because I've been that person that cheated. That's why I forgave. Yes, I forgave and I dealt with a lot of things because I've been there and I always said that I would not go through the same thing over and over again. Like I, I am a type of person that once I am in a relationship, I am committed. That is just what it is. Now, it takes a long time for me to get to the point where I just be like, okay, you know what? Forget this. I don't have to deal with this no more. I, I'm just not going to do it. But I try to make things work. I try different avenues before I leave. So, love. Love and faith is the reason why I stayed. You follow me? Love is the reason I stayed. Faith in the relationship was the reason that I stayed after the cheating. Will that person stay with me if I cheated? I've had one person in my life that was, would have been, I guess if you want to say okay with that, I'm not going to say any names. Um, but that was basically the, that was the greatest relationship I guess I've ever had. I mean, the whole situation was wrong, but you know, that was a great relationship, you know, overall, but I was young and dumb. I'm wiser and smarter now. So most guys go out there and they cheat. They do what they want to do and they come back because they can they know that they can. Even if the woman sit there and leave, he know how to manipulate her and talk her, talk his way back into her life. I don't even think that it's the fact that he's talking his way back into the life because what I'm learning, it's the energy and the frequency that is put out, that he's putting out in his voice that's drawing her back. It's not what he says, it's how he say it. So he knows how to get her to come back. He knows how to get her to stay. So she stays because she loves him and she has faith in that relationship and she has faith in him. Most women. Now, don't get me wrong. You got some women be like, tag team back again. Do it to me. I'm going to do it to you. I used to be one of those women. But I'm not that woman anymore. I changed. But there are women, seriously, that's out there that will, you do it to me, I'm going to do it to you. A man... Gets it done to him. He can't handle that shit. He can't handle that. Now don't get me wrong. You got some man that can handle it. Cause I I I had I had a I had one. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you do have men that can handle it. Um, but that's men that's are that are secure within themselves. It's a difference. A man that's not secure within himself cannot handle what he dish out. You go kill somebody, they kill you back. You go beat somebody up, they beat you back up. It's going to be somebody that's going to do it to you. You're going to meet your maker. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not saying God. I'm not saying, you know, you're going to die or anything. I'm saying it's going to always be somebody that's going to, that's going to be just like you or bigger and better than you. You know what I'm saying? That's part of life. So a man can't handle that because he's not secure within himself because he feel like he did no wrong. He feel like you supposed to submit. That's the word. Submit to what his authority is. And when you break that authority. And when you no longer submit. Now it's a problem. Because he's insecure within himself. That was a whole mouth full within itself. So most women. Again. They stay because they love. Because that's part of everyone's heart. Let me, let's get that correct. Everybody in this world has came into this world pure. Everyone is pure when they come into this universe. Your heart is pure. It's what you grew up around that makes you who you are. That makes up your personality. That makes up your ego. It's the people that you're around that makes up your ego. You pick up traits from your parents. You pick up traits from your grandparents, your great-grandparents. You pick up traits from people in your environment you pick up traits from the things that you watch on tv you pick up traits from the things that you listen to on the radio you pick up traits a woman's heart the love that she have is pure so she loves you 
She wants to work it out. If you want to work it out, don't bring it up. That's just my suggestion. I do not bring up. When I was in that situation, I didn't bring up. Where are you going? What you doing? Oh, who, who, you, who was that on the phone? I didn't do things like that. I don't have to. Now, if you catch me doing things like that, it's because you did it to me. See, I told y'all my last video, I have to learn, work on my tit for tat. So if you sitting here asking me, who are you talking to? When you get on the phone, I'm going to ask you that same question. If you're asking me, who is you emailing? When you get to email and I'm going to ask you that same question. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. That still goes on for today. I'm not ready for that part of the tit for tat because my thing is don't question me. Don't question me. You can't question me if you don't want to be questioned because you're grown just like I'm grown. You have a soul. I have a soul. Your soul is conditioned by what the wonders of the world thinks. My soul is conditioned and governed only by Cora B. So I stayed, most women stay for faith because they're because of faith and love. That's it. And they want to work their family out if they have a family. Or maybe a guy is taking care of them. But when she goes out and she shows you her, her ass, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it, and she shows you her behind, you can't handle it. You can't handle it because. You're insecure within yourself. You get that bubbly feeling in your stomach, don't you? You get like real mad and tense and you mad at her. Why she do this to me? Why she do it? You just can't handle it. But you dished it out. But you can't handle it. If When I dished it out, I looked at every angle. Every angle. He can go do it back. He can possibly leave. And I will be simply okay with that. In the long run, my feelings will be hurt. But me, I'm a Capricorn. I know how to hold that shit in. It's okay. Sorry, YouTube. But I know how to hold it in. It's okay with me. You know what I'm saying? That's perfectly fine. But a man can't handle that. He simply can't handle his woman getting dressed, going on a date with another man. He simply cannot handle that. Should she bow down and, and not do it? I'd rather leave this time in this relationships or whatever, which one's ever to come <laughs> than to cheat. Um, my last relationship, I did not cheat. Um, I did not cheat at all. Um, do I wish I would have cheated sometimes? Yes, I do. Um, because I knew that it was a lot of cheating going on. Um, and it was like, what am I sitting here wasting my time for? But I thank goodness that I didn't do it. And I thank myself, the God that's, that's inside of me. I thank myself that I didn't do it because I didn't have to stoop to a person's level because I've been on a learning stage, a learning spiritual stage in my life where I don't have to stoop to your level. Now, it's going to be days where I get mad. You know what I'm saying? I'm human. You know what I'm saying? But I don't have to stoop to a person's level. Um, and plus, I knew that with that last relationship, it, you wouldn't have been able to handle it. I mean, you couldn't even handle the fact that you couldn't even handle your own thoughts. So I know they wouldn't have been able to handle any of that. <coughs> Why do he want to kill her? Because he's insecure within himself. If I was him, I would want to... <coughs> I ain't going to say... <coughs> I ain't even going to say that. But anyway... He's insecure within himself. He's mad at himself. He's so angry with himself that <clears throat> he feel like she shouldn't do what he doing. Because he live in this world called the patriarchy world or patriarchy world or whatever you want to call it. Because he feel like we're a slave. He feel like we're a slave and that we are supposed to just bow down to everything that he say and, and worship him because he's master. Because master said, I can cheat on you. And you can't cheat back on me. Master said, I can go out all night, but you can't go out all night. Master said, you better have my food done by the time you get in. Master said, what well, Master said. But when Madam say, time is up. Time is up. A woman leaves mentally before she leaves physically. 
I was gone mentally before I left body wise. A man leaves. He's not leaving right here. He's leaving by the penis. He's going only solely off, his, off of his penis. And he thinks that he's in love with the other woman. But it's just solely his penis. And because she makes him feel good at that moment. Everything in life is just a moment. You make you. It's just a moment. It's just a phase. It's just a phase. So death do us part, right? Okay, if we don't die, then we're going to get tired of each other, right? So I'm supposed to force myself to stay in a relationship with you? And I don't want to be in it? People are allowed to go and do what they want to do. But like I said, we're conditioned in the last video to attachment. We're not conditioned to be free. And be free is going about your life, doing what it is that you want to do. So that's why, to answer your question, Anonymous, I'm going to call you all Anonymous, um, it's because he is simply insecure within himself. He can't handle it. His heart is broke. Now it's, I hate all women, and he want to call us bees and, you know, HOEs and whores and dog us out, and then you want to talk about our mamas, and now you want to talk about the ancestors and you know, our ancestors, and now you want to talk about how bad of a mother we is, all simply because you cheated on her first, and she cheated on you back, and you couldn't handle it like a man. And the bad thing is, you really mad because she did the shit more slicker and sweeter than you. <laughs> did I say that right? Yeah, I said that right. She did it slicker and sweeter than you. And you just simply can't handle that. You, you can't handle it. So, to answer your question, cheating and forgiveness. Cheating is wrong. Or is it wrong? Or is that what we think is wrong? We don't know. In your eyes, it's wrong. In most people's eyes, it's not cheating because you're not together. If you don't have a ring on your finger, you're simply just not together. You know, that's just the way it is, I guess, in today's world, you know. Um, here go that thing again, y'all. That thing again was happening to my camera. Um, but, yeah, in today's world, you know, it's just simply what it is, you know, cheating. You know, it's a lot of cheating going on. You got a lot of women that's out here, you know, they love married men. You got a lot of men that's out here. Now they starting to want married women. I mean, and they just simply don't care. You know, it's just it is what it is. It's just too many diseases out here for me, though. You know, I, I'm scared of that stuff. I'm scared of a disease. I don't want to, I don't want a disease. You know, I don't, I, I really, from the depths of my soul, I'm, I'm not going to catch no disease. Like, I'm not doing that. Like, I'm not going to do that. That's God speaking. I'm telling you, I'm not doing that. Um, and, you know, I want someone that's going to be for me. And no, this is not a video talking about, you know, um, a relationship or what I want or anything like that, but it's just. That's what I want in my life. Somebody that's going to be loyal to me and for me and respect me as the God that I am because I'm God. And if he can't respect me as God, then I can't respect him as God. And if we two gods that's clashing, then it's not going to work. And um, we have to come to an agreement. I don't believe in submission. I don't feel I feel like it's supposed to be we walk side by side. I don't believe that you do what the F I tell you to do. And that's just what I want you to do. You do it because I, you're superior to me. I'm nobody. I'm not. No, 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 no. No one is superior to me. I have no one that's superior to me. Husband or not. You're not superior to me. No, we walk side by side. I cook you eggs in the morning. You're going to cook me eggs in the morning. I cook you lunch. You're going to one day you're going to cook me lunch. I make you dinner. One day you're going to make me dinner. I'm, I wash your clothes and you're going to wash my clothes too. Um, it's, 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 it's hand in hand. This is not the 1960s and the 1940s anymore. This is the year of 2020 and we're not, I'm not, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm not going to live like this is the slavery days because I live in the future and I don't live in the past and I'm not going to live like the past. I'm going to live like today, today and tomorrow. That's what I'm going to live like. And I can change my life anytime I feel like changing my life. Let's get that correct. But my life is going to be equal. I want everything equal. Now, do I love my grandparents' relationship? I absolutely, I absolutely adore it. But in that present time, back then, that's how it was. In today's time, it's not like my grandparents. I'm just sorry to say it's just not like that. You're going to respect me. You're going to respect me like that. 
you're going to do, you know, that's what you're going to do. You're going to, you're going to respect me like you want to be respected. You don't want to get cheated on. Just remember that I used to be a cheater. I would cheat on your ass back. But I just said that I don't want to do that. See, I'm practicing my tit for tat. But I can think about it. And if I, if the thought is there, I can make it come into existence. So don't play with me. Yeah, don't play with me. Um, forgiveness. I forgive everyone. Um, and I feel like you should forgive everyone that wronged you. Um, those same people always understand that the people that hurt you, the people that did something to you, they're, they're always going to be the same people that's going to need you. Mark my words. Like, they're always going to be the same person that needs you. So that person that cheated on you or that dogged you out or that or that beat you and you were in the... They're always... It's, it's always going to be somebody. that they, They're always going to need you. The person that treated you wrong is always going to need you. I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm ready to put this in front of you. I'm really ready to take this wig off, and I'm sick of this wig. Can somebody buy me a new wig? No, I'm just playing. I mean, it'll be nice, though. But, um, yeah, so... Um, if you stay with your mate and you literally love your mate and you stay in a relationship with your mate, don't bring it up. It defeats the purpose. You're better off leaving. In my last video, I don't know if y'all heard me say, like, if I, if I asked you to forgive me and I apologize and you said, yeah, but you really didn't mean it, you was better off saying no. I'd rather you tell me no than a, than a fake it, than a pretend it. So if you're in a relationship and you know that man or that woman and cheated on you and you stick that out, that is grounds to not ever bring that up again because you have your own trust issues. When I stayed in my relationships, I didn't question anything. We, we talked about it that day and that was it. I let it go. I'm not talking about it no more. I'm not even going to bring it up. Now, if I bring it up, like I say, I could be tit for tat sometimes. That's because you bringing it up. So you got to always remember with me, what is it that you did to make me act that way? But really, it was me acting that way all along. So if you don't want it done to you, don't do it to the next person. If you feel like she did you wrong and you're going to go out there and you're going to beat her and kill her because she cheated on you. But in reality, you cheated on her first. Just don't do the cheating. Just don't do it. That's just it. If you don't want to be with that person, just say it's simply over. I don't want to be with you. I want to go. I want to go and be free. It's that simple. And if she be like, why? Why you want to? Why? Why? Because it's just not working. And if she just don't understand, then you're still supposed to leave because she just don't understand. She won't understand it in this lifetime. She might understand it in the next lifetime. I had to learn that too. I had a person that told me, I just don't want to be with you. And I made every excuse in the world. You don't want to be with me. Yes, he do. He do want to be with me. And I'm speaking to my therapist at this time. Yes, he do. He do. But then she had to look at me and she said, but if he don't want to be with you, Cora, he's telling you. What do you not understand it? And I made every excuse. He don't want to be with me because of her. And he don't want to be with me because of her. But in reality, he just didn't want to be with me. It's okay. I ended up going back to him, but still. It's okay. Simple. It's, it's, it's simple. So, me and y'all need to stop getting mad at these women that's cheating on your asses back. That's just plain and simple. Get some balls and get secure within yourself. Women... You know, you you just if you're gonna stay in a relationship with a man after he done cheated on you, don't bring that, don't bring it up because that's irritating. You know what I'm saying? Because if I was a man, I would be irritated. Like you can't, I was in that situation before and I really wasn't even doing anything and I was getting questioned. I mean, I was getting it was like my stuff was going from Oregon all the way to Michigan, and I was trying to figure out how am I doing anything, and I'm sitting here up under you all day, every day. What am I doing? What am I doing? Shut my door. Don't come in my room and knock on my door. Sorry. What is it that I'm doing for you to feel that way? So let me tell you something. Women, you stop bringing it up. If a, if a man cheating on you and you choose to stay, you have, you, you have no grounds to bring it up. That's over with. He didn't make you have those trust issues. You made yourself have those trust issues. You already knew that he possibly was a cheater from the beginning with. Just like in my abusive relationship that I was going through with my narcissistic partner. I knew that it was what it was. I knew. I just overlooked all of the symptoms. 
I overlooked them. Like literally, like, like be for real with yourself. I overlooked them. People show you signs and symptoms in the beginning. And now I'm not a firm believer of how you come into the relationship is how you lead a relationship. Don't just shut my door. I'm I'm not a I'm, I'm I just don't agree with that. Like you can come into a relationship and two people could be together and stuff like that. And next thing you know, they in another relationship and with them two get together, they can really stay together for the rest of their lives. I am a firm believer of that. Like, can't nobody tell me different. Like, people be like, what's with God joined together and all of this and all of that. I just simply believe that I, I just don't believe that. I'm sorry, I just don't. Reality is what reality is. Your husband is a cheater. He's just a cheater. Your husband is a beater. He's a beater. Your wife is a beater. She's a beater. She's a cheater. She's a cheater. That's just it. The signs and symptoms is there. You just keep ignoring them. You overlooking them. Stop overlooking stuff. They're there. And stop making excuses. Because you lying to yourself. He ain't lying to you because he's showing it to you right in your face. And she ain't lying to you. And she's showing it right in your face. The signs and symptoms are there. Literally. So just stop lying to yourselves. So men, like I said, if you can't dish it, don't do it. Simple as that. That way you ain't got to worry about you want to kill her. Because she done ran off and found, um... She done ran off and found, um, Tony. You can't kill her because she said she wanted Darius. You can't kill her because, you know, Mike was there for her while you was out cheating with the other girl, buying the other girl stuff, if you even had the money to do that. I'm just saying. You probably was taking her money. What you taking her money for? Why you just can't go get your own money? Nine times out of ten, you taking her money to get your own girl something. But then if you ain't taking her money and you really spending your own money on her, that's still wrong. I mean, that's one of my pet peeves. Like, if you're going to cheat on me, like, you can't get her nothing. Like, she, she don't need a dad. You, you better not get her my money. That's going to be on another video, though, y'all. But, yeah, like, seriously, like, if you can't dish it, don't do it. And that's just the reality of it. Don't do it. I'm sorry. I just don't know what to tell you. Women, if you're going to sit here and stay with the man after he's done, don't bring it up. Because you're going to make him go back and do it again. Really, you ain't making him do something that he already want to do anyway. you just giving him a reason to just go do it anyway. Thank you. She made me mad today. Let me go on out there and uh, go get some from Samantha. Thank you. She did it again today. Let me go on out there and get some from Vanessa. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. I ain't going to say my name, y'all, because, you know, you ain't going to get nothing from me. I'm, I'm on a spiritual cleanse. And I, ain't, I don't feel like doing all of that. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's just the reality of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't bring it up. You wouldn't have to worry about none of that stuff. Just treat each other right. If you don't want to be with each other, just let each other know. And, and men, like, if a woman don't want to be with you, don't try to kill her. It's not that serious. I mean, stop thinking with your penis. Because she's thinking with her, her brain. And she's thinking with her heart. When she leave. When she leave. And she find somebody else. She ain't never come back. She ain't never come back. Oh, oh, oh. She gonna do something. I can't even talk right now. Just know. Women ain't no dummy. A woman can stay with a man for 20 years with baby best believe. She got something up his sleeve. Up her sleeve. Just know. She ain't no dummy. And if I stay with a man for 20 years and he cheating on me, he got to have an insurance policy. I'm going to put one on his ass. I need an insurance policy. I need an insurance policy. That's what I need. I said I need it. That's what I need. And I'm going to get it. One way or another, we're going to call somebody. I'm going to call Geico. I'm going to call Progressive. I'm going to call Global. I'm going to call Gerber. Somebody going to tell me where to get this life insurance policy at. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not, I don't have time for GoFundMe's. You know, I need my money for all them years that I had to stay and deal with you and your bullshit. Sorry, YouTube. I'm not finna stay with no man. And he cheating on me. Again. It's not gonna happen no more. My next relationship, I'm gonna ask, it's gonna be a contract. Do you have an insurance policy? And if he say no, I cannot be in a relationship with you because I need to become the beneficiary. I have to make sure that I'm secure after whatever it is that you may want to do. I'm going to stop. I'm not even going to speak that into existence, but I better have one, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody got to give me stuff in you. Know I can't go out like this no more. You know what I'm saying? Just love each other. That's all I'm saying. 
And again, if you cannot dish it, don't do it. Men, you can't dish it, don't do it. Simple. It ain't no wise because he insecure within himself. He was insecure when he went out there and cheated on her. He just didn't think she was going to do it back. Ha! That's his fault. Um, Keep that same energy, bruh. While you sitting there, bang, bang. When she do the same thing, keep your energy, bruh. That's all I got to say about it. We've been in 35 minutes of this video. I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for all my newcomers. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. And um, I just want you guys to know that everything that I speak of, literally, it, it really be from the heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do not mind you commenting below. I do not mind none of that. I don't mind that you email me questions. I don't mind that. If you feel like you have a topic, like today, this person had a topic, feel free. Feel free to ask me questions. I have answers. If I don't have the answers, I'll meditate on the answers and I'll get them. They'll come to me. Um, I want everyone to love themselves. Um, if you're crying right now, I want you to literally lift your head up high. Go in the mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful. If you don't have a mirror, wipe your tears and tell yourself you're beautiful because your tears are energy. They are. And my friend Lily told me that. And that was the most beautiful thing she could have told me. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of things that's coming up um, for me. And I just want you guys to know that I am so thankful for you guys for tuning in to my channel. Again, like, comment, subscribe below. And don't forget, y'all got them new shoes coming. You want them pair of shoes? You got to email me. Gmail is going to be in the description box below. Um, you got to say number one. You got to follow every instruction in the description box below. You want them shoes? You want a brand new free pair of shoes? I know it's somebody that's out there that goes to work that needs some. And they can't afford none. I know it's somebody out there that just, you know. I know it is. So, I'm going to pick you. I love you all. Thank you for tuning in to the Corby Show. And you simply made my day. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. I love you from the depths of my soul. And I just want to say again, thank you for helping me get to 100 subscribers. Now we're trying to go to 1,000. We get to 1,000 subscribers and people watching the videos. Guess what the next gift going to be? It might be a Rolex or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It might be a fur coat. I don't know. Whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? We're going to figure it out. might be an iPhone. I don't know. Let's get to 100. Uh, let's get to 1,000 subscribers, y'all. Brand new shoes coming for somebody. A brand new box. Nobody never wore them. You can have them. I'm giving them away. I love you all. Have an amazing, beautiful day. And if you never watch this video again, or if you never watch anything on my page again, I wish you a blessed, blessed from the universe year. Abundant year. I love you all. Goodbye.